yeah, like you said, it's a great honor to come out here, like getting to play against some of the best guys in the minor leagues. Like it's been an awesome experience so far, being able to compete against and compete with some of the best players. I got a text actually, and uh, you know, it was, it was a surprise. I wasn't really expecting it. It was out of the blue, but you know, it was one. Of, I was very happy when I found out. So, called my mom, called my girlfriend immediately, and told them all about it. It's been awesome. Like this, uh, this area is awesome. The the facilities are great. You know, it's uh, you kind of get a taste of the big leagues and. You know, it's awesome, and then being able to experience everything around the city is really cool, too. You know, not, not necessarily for me. Like, you know, I feel pretty comfortable in what I need to work on. Like, I know my hitting needs some work, like, in the, in the power aspect. But I think, of, you know, I think a lot of it is just getting used to, you know, catching, like, pitchers that are really, really great at what they do and being able to you know, control a pitching staff that I haven't seen or haven't had experience with. No, I haven't had much experience with that yet. Like, I don't think I've had to change, you know, anything in terms of like game planning or, you know, the way I handle myself. You know, I think I have a pretty set routine now that tends to work in most environments. It's been great so far. The uh, the pitchers on my team are they're great to work with. They're all they're all dogs. They like to go out there and compete, and that's what I like. And you know, I like uh, I like competing with them. You know, that's what I'm back there for. So it's nice to have a guy that you can go back and forth with, which I get a lot of from the guys here. Yeah, we have a pretty good uh, locker room. So like, you know, it's uh, we've all gelled pretty well so far, you know, making friends and, you know, it's it's fun coming to the locker room every day. It's it's nice uh, competing with the guys. You know, not that I can come up with now, you know, but it's nice to, you know, see the way that like really good hitters handle themselves like Beatty, Torkelson and Toglia, you know, those guys are you know, some of the best hitters in the minors. and. Seeing the way that they go about their business, there's always something that you can take from them. Yeah, in terms of baseball, I probably wouldn't be doing anything right now. I'd like to take a, a month off at least. You know, it's a, it's a long season and do a little deload in the weight room and then take a couple weeks off and get right back to it. Yeah, I, I have found it very beneficial, you know, playing this much. I know, uh, like, I've always been kind of a guy to, you know, play the season out and then not worry so much about baseball, but I think the extra innings and all the extra work this year really helped me. That was a big jump and, uh, you know, I found it, you know, easier than I expected. Like, it, obviously the pitching there is a, is a lot better. A lot more guys are polished there, so that was, you know, a little bit of adjustment going from guys who throw 2-0 fastballs primarily to, you know, guys that mix up their stuff a lot. There's a lot better stuff. Guys are more comfortable throwing their off speed and hitters counts, which is something that I needed to learn to adjust to that and be able to recognize those pitches and, you know, not swing at the bad pitches in the dirt when it's a hitters count because then you just fall farther behind and pitchers can really take advantage of you like that. You know, I feel pretty comfortable with my defense. Like, I I really love defense. Like, that's, I put a lot of time and effort into that. And, you know, putting all that time and effort during spring training and every single day, like, I feel comfortable. I value that very highly. I think that's very important. Like, if a pitcher doesn't have confidence in you behind the plate, then he's not going to have confidence in himself. He's going to start to second guess the pitches that I'm calling and I'm going to start to second guess myself back there too if I don't have confidence in him. So I th it's, a, it's a balancing act between both of us and uh, I think the biggest thing in being comfortable with the pitcher is knowing like, who you got on the mound, the personality of him, not the 
stuff that he's got, like not when he throws something, not how hard he throws, not anything in terms of physical aspects. It's all in the mental aspects of pitching that comes with the comfort of being able to call a game and be comfortable with a guy.